Still waiting for Suicide Squad. Yep. Bam Bam vs Superman Dawn of Justice is the film that everyone and their mother has been talking about. This stars Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Jesse Eisenberg, Jeremy Irons, and Amy Adams. It takes place after the events that took place in Metropolis at the end of Man of Steel. And ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne sees this happen and recognizes that this alien isn't the hero that the people need. And somewhere mixed in the story is Lois Lane, Wonder Woman, Lex, Luthor, Alfred, and a shoehorned in Doomsday. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when they first announced the idea of Batman vs Superman, I was ecstatic, I was enthralled, I was like, yes, let's do this. And then the second trailer came out, I'm like, this looks worse. But then it got to the point where I was watching the second trailer so many times that I started declaring that the film would be utter shit. So I ended up seeing it the Thursday night before it came out, like, wide. And was it utter shit? You know, it wasn't too good or anything, but I would say it's like a mediocre film. Now, I'm probably going to spend a vast majority of this review talking about the characters, so let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about the two titular characters first, Batman vs. Superman. Primarily, I want to talk about Superman. Henry Cavill did an excellent job. I know there were a ton of people that found his performance to be very wooden and two-dimensional in Man of Steel. However, I always thought he gave a great performance. He just looked like Clark Kent, and he really had like the persona of the Man of Steel. And I don't think it's any different here. He plays the same type of role, obviously, but he acts the same way that he did in Man of Steel. And I thought he did a really good job here. Now, as for Ben Affleck, we all had our doubts at one point or another if he would be a good Batman or not. Ultimately, he did a fantastic job here. While he plays the Bruce Wayne character, I thought that was better than his Batman character. I'll get into that later. But Bruce Wayne, he is a broken character. That's just who he is. And you definitely see that Ben Affleck puts all of his effort into here, and you can tell that he is trying to portray this broken man as perfectly as possible and he nails it 100%. The Batman side of it, however, don't get me wrong, the costume looked really cool. I mean, I love the blue eyes, but it altered his voice. And it wasn't him that was altering it, it was the, the costume. And it's just like, that's not what it's been for like every other movie. I mean, just look. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Now all of them use their own voice and were perfectly able to alter it, okay? Maybe not Clooney. But another thing I didn't really like is how Batman killed people. One of the Batman's like morals and one of the overall like messages of Batman is to not kill people. And in this, it's just kind of like Zack Snyder was like, nope, throwing that out the window and um, yeah, you're gonna kill some people? Okay. Solid man, but th that's, that's not what Batman does. Ah. I mean, it almost made him seem like a hypocrite as for the reason that he doesn't trust Superman is because he claimed so many innocent lives when he when he battled Zod in Metropolis, and it's just like, but you, you, eh. I mean, like, I, I get that, yeah, they're th innocent lives and people that you're killing are bad people, but n nevertheless, you're killing people, and th th that's just not what you do, Batman. And Amy Adams, as Lois Lane here, does all right, I guess. There's like this side plot with her and the Daily Planet just doing a case. And I mean, it's not awful, but it's not something that I was like, boy, I'm really interested in this. Tell me more, please, Amy Adams. Tell me more. And her chemistry with Henry Cavill was decent at best. Jeremy Irons is out for here though. He does a really solid job. He has great rapport with Ben Affleck and he just looks like a perfect candidate for Alfred. I feel like, you know, later in the films when he gives that huge like big message, it's going to work perfectly and it just completely fits him. I don't think he'll be as good as Michael Caine was in the previous trilogy, but nevertheless, I think he'll do a really good job in the next films. Gal Gadot here as well as is someone that, like Ben Affleck, we all had our doubts about at one point. But dude, she does stellar here. She's not in it for a lot of the film, but for when she is, not only is she badass and her theme badass, but dude, that solo movie, 
cannot wait for next year. However, we still have to talk about the two worst things in the movie, Doomsday and Lex Luthor. Doomsday can really just be summed up as a shoehorned in character that had t terrible CGI. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, however, he has set the bar for the worst casting choice in a film that I have seen. The man is just plain quirky in the film the entire time and it doesn't work. Like, dude, he's not even menacing. You're just weird and you, you basically... You ruined the whole movie? So, um, yeah. It's like, regular Jesse Eisenberg snorted coke, and this was what came out. And it's just, it's just really bad. Now let's talk about Snyder's direction. Some people hate it, and some people love it, and personally, I thought it was fantastic here. He directs the action scenes so well and so crisp. They all look very intense, and whenever it happened on the screen, I was actually really invested. Definitely like the fight between Batman and B Superman, the actual fight. I thought that was really good. I thought it would be underwhelming, but great job there, Zack Snyder. However, the film is most definitely style over substance. I never really found myself extremely engrossed with any of the, the characters or the situations that were going on in the film. And it kind of just seemed like the writer was like, a lot of story arcs? You got it. Caring about any of them? You don't got it. Motivation for any of them? Not really, uh, you want me to add motivation? I'll sprinkle in a bit, but, I mean, you're, you're asking for a little too much. And the movie also had to be very disinterested in the first act with the political drama going on with Superman, and while I wasn't falling asleep, it still did make the 143 minute without credit runtime feel all the much longer. Overall though, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is certainly not the atrocity that I thought it was going to be but it's not anything that I would rush out and see. With all that said, I'm going to give Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice a C. Alright, so now that I said what I had to say about this film, what did you guys think? If you've seen it, let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and if you're not going to see it, then tell me why you're not going to. If you are, tell me why you will, and if you haven't already, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And as always, until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 411 I will see you all later.